Why the hell does it look weird all of a sudden? The fuck? It's not supposed to look like that. The fuck? Come on. Why do you look like that? That's not what you look like here. Why do you look like that on the other screen? What the fuck? Why is it so red? Why? What the? That's not what it looks like. What are you talking about? Why the hell is the thing red shifting so hard? Good God. That's not what it looks like. It keeps... It keeps telling me it looks like a certain way. That's not... That's not it. That's... That's not it! That's not what it looks like! What the fuck are you talking about? Why is it so red shifted? Why? Why is it so red? For what reason? The fuck are you trying to do to me, game? I mean, it's not that bad, it's still spooky as fuck, but what the- what the fuck? What kind of bullshit? Whatever. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the legend. We are here to play. Alien, alien isolation. Uh, guys, uh, guys, I, let me explain something to you, okay? I, I've, this game, this game is my, is, is the nightmares that, that come true for me, guys. It, it's it this game is my nightmare okay this game is is the game that i was too afraid to play for for since it came out like five almost five years ago okay i i i have to say this right now i watched i've already watched uh mark plier play this in the past um he's a youtuber i don't know how you don't know him if you're on youtube um he's like one of my favorite youtubers and I i've already seen him play this game in the past like his series but it was a very long time ago um, and the story elements and events, like, not talking about the gameplay, the gameplay was obviously memorable, but that was just nightmare, absolute nightmare fuel that this game gives to play, oh, but, but I'm not really talking about that because that stuff is, like, like, it, number one, it's different for, like, every player, like, the experience of it, and number two, like, it's, to it is, oh, completely different for someone who like isn't playing the game or who is currently playing the game so i'm not even talking about the gameplay but i'm talking about like like the story elements like anything possibly being spoiled for me for all intents and purposes i have no fucking clue what the story was in this game i can't remember so i'm extremely excited to get uh, as you see I, you saw my shirt with the with the alien i fucking love this shirt it has like an alien holding like a camera with its fucking tongue thing um there's gonna be plenty of time for me to talk about like my initial like kind of introduction uh uh things i want to say about this game uh because there's a whole lot of, a whole lot of like s the 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 game starts out really slow um and then it picks it then it just fucking it slaps you in the face but uh just to uh, there's one, one more thing that i want to say right now is as you can see i am not everything is not as bright as it usually is because like i really really wanted to play this in the dark okay or or at least as dark as i can get my room it doesn't seem too bad i have no f fucking clue why i'm red shifting so much but it kind of looks kind of looks badass i already went through the options hold on i need to show the one thing okay not that uh game uh i have a head tracking on so it's going to track my head movement so when it comes around like peeking around corners i'm actually going to be moving my head to peek around corners that is going to add an immersion that might just kill me like it, i i don't know I, I it is a real possibility that i might need medical attention by the end of this game guys oh my i'm so fucking i'm so and then there's this thing called noise detection now Fuck this, okay? Fuck this for this particular series. I might do something with this afterwards, after the series, with some, like, minigame thing. Uh, but 
I don't want to be in no rooms just wanting to just talk to you guys or just wanting to just conclude a freaking video or introduce a video and then the fucking alien hears me and fucking fucks my shit up, okay? Fuck that, okay? Fuck that, no. But, uh, let's, let's start this up. Uh, we had some technical difficulties with this, uh, at the beginning, but it's good. We got this. Uh... Yes, I want to play the main story mode because we have we have crew expendable DLC, last survivor in survivor mode. I'm not sure what those two actually are. I might uh, look them up after these set of streams and figure out what exactly they are. I know what survivor mode is. You just go in and try to survive against the alien. But these two, I'm not really sure what they actually are. But I'll we'll find out later. Um, so we're going with alien isolation here. Um, Start game. Playing with the game, uh, head tracking enables? Yes, on. Uh, off. Hell no. I'm gonna play as medium. Oh god, there's a not- Okay, three says the greatest chance to survive are easy for an increased chance. Oh god! Can I change the difficulty level? No! Mid game? Oh, I don't know if I should choose easy or medium. Oh, oh, I'm. F I know that I'm fucking up. I know that I'm going to regret every single decision in my entire existence. Let's do medium. Let let's. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I don't, I don't... Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Let's try it. Like I said, uh, the game starts off pretty slow and looking around and just moving about, so... Um, I'll have plenty of time to talk, uh... And all that good shit about my initial, uh, introduction and, and thoughts. Um... So... I'm gonna go into... Oh, we're gonna- are we gonna have like a, 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 a like a famous little, uh, or infamous, uh, alien introduction scene where you, you're going through space and you see like the ship and everything? This is pretty- Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. Oh, this is Ellen Ripley. My girl! members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Ash. Brett. Ash. My boy. Ash. <laughs> and Captain Dallas. Uh. Dead. Yeah, uh, this is the report that she made at the end of Cargo the first Alien destroyed. movie. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. All right. This is Ripley, oh. Last survivor of the Nostromo. <laughs> Signing off. Alien isolation. My doom is what it should say. That that right there, it should say my doom. My inevitable death at the hands of this game. Um So, uh are we going to get through more uh, oh. We have a... I'm assuming... Assuming he's an android? I'm Samuels. He looks like... I work for the what? company. Are you? Is he not? Is he human? I'm not sure. About your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. Oh yes, Amanda Ripley. I totally forgot to introduce the main plot of the... A game. commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. Okay. Tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietary sounds. material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Could actually be a bit louder, but Sevastopol's I have to wait until they're done. Region. It's a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Alright. I'm hoping that transits arranged. Oh. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We. Oui. 
Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Hmm. Oh, a, a, a good old trip Look, through the really cosmos? When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. Yes. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. She's trying to find her remnants of her. Looking, aren't you? Yes. I'm looking for a mummy. I'm offer you mommy. a place on the torrents if you want to come along. I don't. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. There'll be death for me. There'll be death. No, literally nothing but death, okay? I don't know if I want to go on your little trip to the Torrens, my boy. If you're a android or not, I can't tell in this these games, man. Like, the, they look so human. And, and they've made them so, like, human-like, their personalities. I hope that my uh, positioning of my face cam isn't bad, that there's nothing really important on that upper right. I really want it to be either upper right or upper left, but if I have to, I might have to go bottom right. I don't know. Um, okay, we're in. We're already there. What oh, shit? We're already we're already here. I guess uh, probably like weeks passed by or something. Uh, hello. Okay, explore the torrents. Welcome, Amanda Ripley. So the plot of this game is that it's following. Uh, the story of uh, Ellen Ripley's daughter, Amanda Ripley, and she's trying to get some closure. She's trying to that, that. Oh my God! Look how. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's a little bit fast. When I when I say that this game might be the end of me, I'm not fucking around. Okay, this is going. I'm being very immersed. Um, I'm in a dark ass room. I'm putting up the volume. It, it's just it's this is not this is not gonna end well uh, like, like I said it, it is uh, it does start off a bit slow um, like I, I don't you don't really you encounter the alien without having to go through too much time but uh, uh, to actually start what the hell just happened wait to actually start uh, that like the alien actually coming after you that's not for quite a while for at least like an hour and a half, I think. What the hell? I... Oh, just missed you. Uh, Verlaine, you were on the lookout for navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Mega Corps undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by as smaller companies. I'm thinking of getting myself... Getting out myself while I'm still something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay well, though. Dropped by docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station, what a shithole. Still I hear Whalen Yutani pay well. Good luck to you if you can't beat him. Uh, if you can't beat him, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Can't beat him, join him. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these, these episodes not much more than 30 minutes each. Um... Wait, what? Oh, I got dressed. Okay. There we go. What do I have? Oh, I, I can't even see. What what, 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 what kind of swag did I put on? My skinny jeans? Um. Oh, what? Okay, uh, Verlaine signed in. Connor, Samuels, Taylor, Ripley signed in. On the Torrens. Okay. Awesome. What is making that annoying sound? Worry. Wink, wink, whoa, hello, hello, baby, oh, whose is that, um, use red, ah, oh. oh, yes, save points, oh, my lifeblood, the, the lifeblood of the gods, oh my god, um, that show mercy upon my soul, there's like so many places to go right now, where am I, where the heck am I going, um, Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Taylor. Good morning. I'm oh, sorry. I just said me not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. I didn't even acknowledge your presence. I'm sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. Oh yeah, you, you get. Too long or very often. You feel like really Most sick. 
travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. Mm. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. Oh, okay. Um that was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for fifteen years and you It's okay. Okay. We'll both get what we want, right? May it take a while to dig out. He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up. I don't know who that is. Uh, Taylor, I got your case because you may take a while to dig out files and that incident happened before my time. Uh, till 2122, the whaling tiny cargo vessel in the Stroma went missing. No trace was found on his cargo crew apart from a new silent science officer. The rest of the crew had worked together before seven and all. Dallas Captain Ash Science Officer. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ash was the, wait, wait, no, no, I'm getting, what am I doing? I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting confused. Ash was the asshole. Ash was the, the, um, android, but he was the asshole. I, I'm thinking of a different guy, the, the, the android from, uh, uh, Alien, Aliens, the second movie. He was the one that, <laughs> I was like, died, I think, or got impaled, so I, I can't remember. So I was crying for nothing. Fuck him. I'm glad he's dead. Um, Ripley, Warren Officer. Yeah, Parker. Oh, they they hold that. Uh, Waylon Yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's been a bit of a black mark in the history. Uh, get the impression that they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try and find the files later. Clarify some of the points if you want to you know, go through. Maybe some of your luck. I hear there's I, some big Saul. Okay. Um, outbound... No, okay, that doesn't look very interesting there. Not, not a lot of saying there. there. Uh, I don't want to take too much time in this area. Am I able to... Whoa. Am I able to talk? To you? Nope. Okay. I don't know if I was going the right way or so... Because there was, like, other places to go back there. Hold on a second. Whoa. Hello. Hey. Uh, how's it going, my boy? Uh, oh, you. Oh, that's Samuels. Well, I don't... I realize it's a very similar model to The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close inspect. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Am I supposed to be doing something here? Is Taylor on here? She's not a seasonal traveler. Hypersleep may have been punished for her. Uh. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, oh, I needed to go speak to Samuels. Okay. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Wait. Oh, like to the bridge? To the bridge? I think I mostly, um, explored around here for the most part. Yeah, you know, try to keep going on and, uh, get to, get to the good shit. You know? Just like I said, a bit of a slow start. We need to get to the good shit. We need to get to the exciting shit. Um... All right, let's get to the bridge. Gotta meet the rest of the crew. The crew that I'm working with. What up? What up, peeps? What up, what up? How's it going? Who are you? Hello? Hope you all had a restful journey. Your name would be that? is in very good order for an old M-class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts captain. to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sebastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Ooh. Let's get this done. Let's do it! Routine. Even and though I'm is. not looking forward Wonder to get there. <laughs> RCMG loaded and calibrated. Ooh. Hey. Locked. Prep comm so I can say hey, hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone Are you the pilot or something? You can watch the approach in the monitors. Yeah, uh... Oh, dude, look at that sun! That looks awesome. Isn't there any like planet nearby or something? Uh, or is that not until later? Are we gonna do like s oh the hello? Oh, dude, that looks like a Jupiter or something. Like it, it straight up looks like Jupiter. Is it? No, we're not in this. We're not in our solar system, right? Well, that wouldn't make sense, right? 
No, that that's no. Okay, what's the what am I looking at? What hello? My my briefing uh whatnot? Oh ho! Hello. Oh. Okay. Oh there it is. Can we see it? There it is. Station. Uh, the nightmare awaits over there. The station of nightmares. Looks like damage. And death. Punch up 74, tight angle. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so excited. Can't you see, Yama? Kiss can't hide it. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. All right. Uh oh. Hello, Marshall. I'm hitting some Dead Space One Hello, vibes Marshall. right now. This is the Torrent. Say again. If you remember how that game started. That that's a pretty sick signal of. Uh, hey everyone, let's abort mission. They're saying we have a pretty serious situation going on. It's, you know, screwed up, I think so. I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Can it? Can we? Can we think? Can it? Can we? Can we think about this again? Can? I mean, I mean, if you think about it, you know. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. Yeah, and it's, it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Perfectly safe, you say? Huh, huh, perfectly safe, you say? Oh, oh, we'll see about that. Can, can, can we? Uh, no, we can't. We can't. Do we think about this? They, they had comms that were fucked up. They said the serious situation. He was, he was, he was probably like ten seconds from saying, "Do not come here. Do not come here." I'm sorry if I'm yelling in your ear holes right now. I I, I don't think that we. My God, Ripley, you're doing good, Tim. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, perfectly safe, you say? Um. Taylor Ripley, hold on. Um. Um. <laughs> uh. Perfectly safe. This is perfectly safe, everyone. This was meant to happen. Of course. Ow. Of course, this was meant to happen. See, because she told me that this. She told me that this was perfectly safe. No, it's fine. The girl said this is perfectly safe. Literally, nothing could happen like this. This was meant to happen. Of course. I mean. <laughs> she obviously knew what the fuck she was talking about. I mean, of course. Oh, I'm already alone. I am already separated from my crew. Vundaba! Did I not... The motion tracker is key to survival. Use it... Well, oh, that... Not the motion tracker on my face. Uh, it the, means the motion tracker, like... Beep, beep, beep thing. Sprinting is the last resort. Yes. I will not sprint at all. I mean, I probably will, but I mean, like, we gonna be we gonna be duck walking this whole fucking ship for the most part, guy. My, my my dudes, um, I am not fucking around. It, the thing is, is that right now I'm not anywhere near as scared as I will be because I know that we don't we don't have to worry about the alien just yet, but. It's still- I'm still gonna have to deal with a bunch of fucking bullshit. Uh, um... Oh boy, am I running out of oxygen right now? Oh god. Uh, 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 yeah, can we- can we get- can we get some, uh, pressurization, please? Or do- do we already have it? Okay, never mind, okay, we're- we're good. Looks like we're good. Uh, except we are all alone on a Sylvester on Sylvesterpol station, uh, where apparently there is a quote unquote serious situation. Um, if they were talking about uh, an alien, you would think 
that they would be talking about a deadly situation, but, you know... What? Do I already have a motion tracker? Okay, save game. I mean, okay, I think it's coming from that, actually. Uh, that, that... Okay, okay. Whenever I hear that sound, that means that I'm close to a save point. That... Wink. Wink. Um, sound. That means I'm close to a save point. The... Uh, I'm gonna hold on a second. I'm gonna have to turn the volume up louder again because I want to be able to hear everything. Even all of the horrifying sounds, soundtrack, uh, and background audio that this fucking game. Oh. Jesus! Calm down! <laughs> How do I. Okay. Well, that's not good. Stick this. This is not stable. Is unstable. You mean like a freaking thing could just a, a portion of the ship can just blow out into space at any moment or something? Jesus! Shit. Through the fire and flames! Oh my goodness! Oh God, the vents! Oh God, the vents! Oh! Oh, the nightmares that fo I foresee cometh, cometh my way in the future. Oh my goodness. Um. Uh, how can can everything not like like can can it not? Oh my. Can can I go through, please? Okay. Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> this is a freaking ship crashing into a freaking meteor? God damn. See, I'm wondering, I'm running right now because I, I know I don't have to... Ooh, scrap. I know I don't have to deal with the alien right now. Okay. Hello, little computador. Uh, file corrupted. Wunderbar. Uh, in, is so, okay. In, in, in Engineering team, uh, so boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about survival by now, and I can now confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over in each, uh, with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement, but for now, we still have job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean over time. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that a de decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment. Yes, you still have to do your job until the very end. Um. Otherwise. Baitings! Or whippings. Um. Don't do shock for battery level low! <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do that after. Um. Uh. After, uh... JESUS! GOD DAMN IT! GAH! GAME! Can you let me finish my sentence? Oh, I'll do that after this friggin' episode! JESUS! Hey, okay, um... Hello, Flare! Exactly! Uh, hold circle, open radial... Cool. I don't know what is behind that upper right. Hopefully it's not anything important. Uh, no, I don't want to activate it. How do I put this away? How do I put this away? I don't want to activate it. I mean, maybe I do need to activate it. It's, it might get pretty dark over here. Um. Uh, ooh. Okay, a little, uh, be uh, conveyor belt is what they're called, right? Is that what these are called? I can't quite remember. Um, I think that's what they're called, right? Uh, someone new. You always know working Joe. What? Uh, what? What the hell is going on? Okay, um... Anything else? No? 
Okay. Oh, the, oh, there's another area over there. Oh, but there's a ladder over here, though. What's on the other side over there? Hold on. Hold up. All right. Whoa. Day, stop. Stop it. Stop. Ugh. Get out of here. All right. Um. Ooh, compound S. SCJ connector. The fuck does that mean? All right. Wait. What was the button again? It was. That wasn't it. What? What? Oh, there we go. Okay, the everything I picked up was, I guess, only just resources. I guess everything I just picked up was just resources. Okie dokie, then. Alright. Keep moving. Or, yeah, keep moving, alright? I shall take your advice. Thank you, kind Zop. Who be talking up here? Eh? Eh? The fuck? Um, okay, I got some scrap. Yeah, uh, uh, praise Jesus uh, and everything. Cool, awesome. Uh, the, the salvation and reckoning are coming. We must prepare. Uh, I don't know what the hell that guy was talking about. Um, anyone here? I don't like this. I don't like this. That's the thing is I, it's been so long since I played this game that I don't quite remember what exactly is possible you know like like if the alien can how how just how early can the alien kill you know i hear a save somewhere where is that save is that save up wait where is that it's up here yeah is the save up here where is that save there it is Give me that fucking save. Give me, give it to me. The, in this game, I think I do remember that not even areas where you can save, like a bunch of areas we can save, there are little places in this game that are safe. Okay, like the alien can just come and just kill you before you're even able to save and like throw you back like a. Ugh! Come on, bitch. I said. Ugh. Okay. Still don't know how to take this flare off from me here. Okay. What the fuck was that sound? Did you... Did, please tell me that I was not the only one that heard that. It was like the... the it's, it sounded like the, the screams. Or, or the... Or the, or the what is it called the the some kind of roar or something i don't i don't know langley if you're looking for our stash i've moved it uh, you left it right out in the open where anyone uh could take it jesus you know how, what i do uh what what i had to do to get it i've hidden it uh in one of the our storerooms uh you should be able to find it the code is 0340 don't worry no one goes down to the terminal anymore not after what's happened also we're out of meds and low on water so you're going to need to get some if it's your turn maybe it'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future do I need to remember that code? We've had a long journey together, uh, but Sally's coming to an end. Seasons Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you to work and lived on Sylvester of the years. Uh, we sure working. Oh, we sure Apollo Central AI and working Joe androids. Oh, I forgot about the androids in this game. Oh, they are not fun. Uh, the, the alien is far worse, don't get me wrong, but the androids are... Oh, they are just... Oh, um... <laughs> uh, and so, so until the last of it is removed, we wish you all the very best of the future. After all, so, so it's just station, it's people. Okay. Harris Turner, get back here now. We have 
So we have a track somewhere in engineering. Look the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're going to need paperwork to bulletproof this shit is, is over. Waits, waits out. Okay. Oh, restore power. Okay. Maybe that was not... What are you guys doing? Excuse me? What? Okay. So, I'm... So, they, they turned the power off. I... What the fuck is happening? What is with the music? Could you not? So, they turned the power off. I'm assuming to try to... Oh, never mind. I'm assuming to try to trap the alien somewhere. How am I gonna remember that? Wait, I I'm gonna need to write that down. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna end the video there anyway, but I'm gonna need to write that down. Uh, it it begins. It <laughs> it begins. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the episode there. Oh, oh, did I? It's gonna get so much worse. I don't know how. See, the problem is, the problem is, is that I don't remember exactly when I when I need to start worrying about the alien. And the game does not warn you. The game does not really warn you. I think I think I do have to see a cutscene first before I start to worry. Um, there's a cutscene I think that happens later before I start to worry, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe until then. But after that cutscene, the game does not warn you. Like you'll just be going. And then, boom, the alien's just like, Yo, bitch, I'm in this game now! Uh, and this fucking kills- Oh, my god. I'm fine right now, but I, I guarantee you, I am not going to be okay later in this game, man. Um, when we act- when I actually start feeling the- Oh, because- Oh, man, because this game is- is- it's different than a lot of the other horror type types, like, uh- uh, the biggest difference in my mind that I can explain is that things like the Resident Evil games or things like uh, any, anything where like the monster like comes at you and it hits you if you still survive it's not the same in this game because it's like this game the alien will one shot you right and that gives it so much more uh, intensity and power and tension and and just like intimidation than any other creature from any game that takes multiple hits like that takes like two three four hits to kill you this thing will just come down and if i can't get it away fast enough with something or if i or if i'm out of some kind of weaponry that i have i'm just just I'm just fucked. Like the it's it it's over. I I, I just I just put the controller down and just and just say hello to Jesus. It, it's over, you know. So it's 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 insane. This is gonna get insane. I, I I'm both excited and absolutely horrified at the thought at the same time it, it's very mixed emotions like i'm i some people are masochists when it comes to like the difficulty of games i'm 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 not that at all i'm like the opposite but but um i'm a masochist when it comes to horror games like when it comes to being scared like it, it's it's really stressful and horrible but at the same time it makes me really really excited and i love it it's weird but um uh like if you enjoyed this uh episode uh subscribe for more more content on my channel and i'll see you guys in the next episode of alien isolation this is gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one guys it's gonna have mercy game oh please have mercy on me later in this game